everyone, I'm Carrie Ann from Have a Cookie and I'm here with Aaron Langmead from Strangely Named Studios. Hi, Hi there. <laughs> and you are showing Bears Can't Drift. Yes. Um, so, first of all, can you describe the game in 10 words or less? Oh, okay. Do those count? No, well, we'll, we'll <laughs> leave those ones. Uh, it's a split screen kart racing game, which is action packed. I didn't count that, but I'm going to trust it was okay. So, what, what's your role within the studio? Uh, so I am uh, the developer, cool. so I did the artwork and the code and the... Everything. Most of it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I did work with another guy though who helped out on various stuff like track design, yeah. uh, improved my awful code when it wasn't good <laughs> enough, uh, and just various critique and bits like that. Great, so I've got to ask, why bears? You've got nothing against bears? But... Everyone keeps on asking me and I can't remember. It was so long ago now, I literally just... It's a good a choice. <laughs> They're adorable bears. So... Oh yeah, people love bears. So... <laughs> So what was the sort of inspiration behind this? With Chad earlier and you men when mentioned Crash Team Racing a Oh yeah, bit. I yeah. loved Crash Team Racing when I was a kid, you know, it was so much fun. And there just aren't any split screen games out anymore. Yeah. You know, like there's nothing to play with your friends unless you want to try Call of Duty Zombies for the hundredth time. So you and have to be actually social and be in the same space. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So I mean that was a big thing. And, and then, you know, kind of doing a kart racer because Again, there's not really much out there unless you've got a Wii. Yeah, <laughs> and you can true, play the, no you know, the big one. Um, but you know, if you've got like a PS4 or if you're on Steam, there's really not a lot of choice out there. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to do something fun that people could enjoy. It's good. It's kind of like a throwback thing, but I think it's going to have a lot of that nostalgia feel that everyone will be missing. Yeah. So um, why don't you tell us a bit about the area? I believe there's three different zones, is there? Yeah. So yeah. there's the uh, Arctic Hub World. There's the forest one, which you can kind of see people playing in the background. Yeah. And there's also kind of the ancient ruins as well. And they all have different difficulties. So the forest one's kind of your easiest tracks. They're your yeah. beginner tracks. And then Arctic and the ancient ruins ones can get really brutal. I'm going to say that's why I was so bad when I played on the Arctic yeah, one earlier. Sure, it's it's just because sure of the why. level, it's not me. Um, so what about the pickups? There's four different ones, isn't there? And they can yeah. be kind of combined. Yeah, so everyone always asks when you're doing a kart racer, how is it different from Mario Kart? Yeah. And our pickups are what makes it a bit different. So. Well, in Mario Kart, it's all random, and you always get the crappy ones at the end. Banana, if it's you're always in first banana. place. Yeah, yeah, no one wants that. Um, with ours, we've got four base weapons, which kind of distilled from like the core that all games have. So yeah. you know your front attack, rear attack, and then the boost and a shield. But you can pick which one you want, and then you can combine those with another item to make an even more powerful one. See, so, so you have to you think can, about. Yeah, so it just kind of adds an extra layer of tacticalness to it. That's good. Um, so this is on Steam Early Access at the minute. Yeah. What's sort of next for it? Have you got any plans for it before uh, release? Well, we keep on updating it um, like quite often at the moment. Yeah. Um, we're hoping to get it out before Christmas. That's like our big, big goal for us yeah. to try and get the game out on Steam and uh, PS4. That's great. Um, I've got to ask as well, I know I mentioned this earlier, why do you hate menus so much? Uh, it's expressly said on the <laughs> website that you hate menus. Yeah, no, I'll just... I just want the whole thing to be playable and to be a yeah. game. So our hub world is where you can do absolutely everything from picking which player you want to play as to which map to which game mode. And we've actually built in a small capture the flag mini game. So yeah. uh, basically whoever has the flag gets to pick which game mode and which track gets played next. So again, competitive before you're even in oh, the yeah. game. I imagine there'll be a lot of falling out over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, so finally, is there anything you're looking forward to when you're here? If you, do you get a chance to get away from your booth? Yeah, no, I'm really, uh, really lucky because you can kind of get in here a bit early if you're an exhibitor. So I managed to go in and play Mirror's Edge before there was a massive Very queue nice. for it. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Great. So that is Bears Can't Drift. That's on Steam Early Access now. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend you give it a try. Great. Thank you. Thank you.